It freaking hurts. My face is on fire and it's getting worse. Like it's, you know how when you eat something like really, really hot, even after you swallow it, like your mouth keeps on burning and it keeps on getting worse and worse and worse. <sighs> <sighs> Hi, this is Merrill Jenks with the Big Helper Real Estate Group. And today I am coming at you with, as you can hopefully see, a very special edition of Merrill's Monday Morning Market Madness, where we take a look at the Phoenix housing market and exactly how hot it is. Now, I have tried in previous episodes to really illustrate the point of that we're just in an insanely hot seller's market. I'm not sure people believe me, uh, or at least to the extent of how absolutely hot and on fire it is. Uh, in previous episodes, I'd say that if I could light my pants on fire in the middle of the episode, maybe I would. But I found a more practical way of illustrating it today by using a couple of Buffalo Wild Wings hottest uh, hot wings. I'm going to start with the uh, more moderate part of the market and I'm going to try one of the more moderate, not the, the hottest um, flavor of the wings, which is Asian Zing. And basically Asian Zing is comparable to the homes that are over a million dollars. Homes between one and two million, and I was just shocked at how low this number is, came in at only a 2.85 month supply of inventory. So even by our metric of you know four to five months as a balanced market, homes between one and two million dollars are it, you know, 2.85, so definitely in a seller's market. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in, take a bite of our Asian Zing wings. Those are comparable, again, to the over a million. Also, Asian Zing, one of my favorite flavors from Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a little bit sweet and spicy, and, uh, and so that's, I thought, was a really good comparable to that market. So here we go. See, I'm already coughing. <clears throat> mm. I'll have to try to take a little bit of a smaller bite next time. Um, so I don't have to take so long to chew. But, uh, <clears throat> wow. They're, I mean, they're, they're not that hot. I mean, they, you know, they're a little hot, but you can tell, like, I've got a little peppers in my throat. I'm starting to feel myself sweat a little bit. But it, it was, again, a little bit of sweetness in there to take the, take the, the, the edge off, right? Um, but it is gonna go uh, uphill very quickly from here. So let's take a look at the next segment of the market. Homes between 750,000 and a million dollars, month supply of inventory of only 1.79. And then this one blew me away. Homes between 500,000 and 750,000, currently sitting at a month supply of inventory of 0.99. I mean, so for homes between 500,000 and a million um, to be, you know, at 0 0.99 and 1.79 month supply of inventory, that is incredibly competitive for kind of the, the upper echelon of homes. I mean, certainly not million and $2 million homes, but um, the, at the median home price, you know, being around 350,000, significantly above the average, twice the average in many cases for those homes. And even that market is incredibly hot. So for this one, I'm gonna move to the hot flavored wing, which is just sort of a traditional buffalo flavor, you know, buffalo sauce flavor, but they have a mild, a medium, and a hot, and this is their hottest version of the, uh, of the buffalo sauces. Not bad. Actually, I think the Asian Zing was hotter than that. But now we're kicking it into super high gear and we're gonna move up to the mango habanero. And I've had the mango habanero before and it is incredibly spicy. It obviously made with habanero peppers, um, which are, you know, 
not ghost chilies, but among the hottest peppers um, out there. So let's take a look at homes between 300,000 and 500,000. And, and I'm looking at single family homes uh, for all of these metrics, homes between 300 and 500,000 currently sitting at a month's supply of inventory of only 0.5. In the entire Phoenix metro area, Maricopa and Pinal counties, we got 1,531 active listings between 300 and 500,000, but we have 3,882 pending, more than twice uh, the number of homes are pending in that price range than we have uh, active on the market, and 3,054 have closed in the past 30 days. So we are gonna move up for this one into the mango habanero, um, and again, I've had this one before, and it is quite spicy. Um, I think pretty fair representation of the three hundred to five hundred thousand dollar price point. Hmm. I don't, maybe I'm getting old and my taste buds are dying, but it's not as spicy as I uh, not as spicy as I remember it, but. I am sure that the blazon is gonna get the trick done. Now, one thing I am noticing from the mango habanero is that the heat is not going away. Like it's staying in my mouth and it's still feeling pretty spicy. Um, so let's talk about under 300,000. Right now, under 300,000, there are only 806 active listings. And I'd point out that most of those 806 probably already have offers on them. In, there are currently pending 3,655. So something like five, almost five times more homes pending in under 300,000 than there are active on the market. 2,896 of those homes have closed in the past 30 days for a month supply of inventory of only 0.28. We're talking one week supply. One week supply, we're gonna have to stop calling it month supply of inventory and call it like days supply of inventory or like hours supply of inventory um, for that price range because it is so, so insanely competitive. We're working with lots of buyers in that price point right now and almost everything is multiple offers. You've got buyers waiving appraisal contingencies and inspection periods and uh, cash and it's just nuts out there right now. Okay, the mango habanero, like my face is like, like around my mouth where it touched, like it's still burning. Um, so I'm scared, I'm stalling to, uh, to eat the blazin. Okay, all right, so the rule on the blazin apparently is that I'm gonna have to eat the entire wing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Maybe if I like eat it really fast and like try to swallow it before I can burn my face off. Here we go. It doesn't hit you at first, but it it does after. Hmm. 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 No, the rule is I can't drink. Hmm. Hmm. Holy cow, all right, I got it down. It freaking hurts. My face is on fire and it's getting worse. Like it's, you know how when you eat something like really, really hot, even after you swallow it, like your mouth keeps on burning and it keeps on getting worse and worse and worse. <sighs> we'll have to wait and see how long it takes for that to wear off. But uh, yeah, I would say that that, might, it, that wing is almost hot enough to be a fair representation of how hot the price points are, how hot the housing market is under 300,000. You know, part of it that's fueling it really severely is the interest rates. You might have heard interest rate, average interest rates hit below 3%. And so you've got almost no inventory. You've got people moving to Arizona from all over the country. I mean, I don't wanna get into the politics, but I'm dealing with a lot of buyers who are moving here for political reasons at this point. It is creating a perfect storm. Home values are rising incredibly rapidly. 
okay, the, the, it, my mouth still hurts, but like the super, super painful, like where you feel like you've got smoke coming out of your ears is starting to wear, wear off. My mouth is still feels like it's, you know, very like burning on the, you know, edges of it. Uh, but I'm going to survive. I got through it without drinking anything. So that is your update for the Phoenix housing market. Hope you found it fun, helpful, and interesting. If you have any questions or you want to know what's going on with the market in your area. <laughs> Ah. <coughs> in your area, please let me know.